Hey everyone, Brandon here, and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to work with zip files, and I'm also going to show you how to print multiple PDF files at once. Um, first, if you're using Google Chrome, you want to look at the file that you're downloading by going to your three dots and then your downloads folder. Um, and then you go to your name of your file that you're wanting, obviously it's a zip file, and instead of clicking the file itself, you'll come down and click show in folder, and then it'll highlight your actual thing. You right click that and then choose extract all and then it's going to prompt you for a path you can just hit extract um, and here are the files that just became extracted it automatically opens up the folder you'll see the P the list of PDF files I'm assuming that for the students test uh, so here I have a zipped folder of the students test which you will likely be seeing whenever they download You'll right click and extract all and it'll give you something that looks like this file folder. You'll notice that one of them says compress folder and one of them says file folder. Um, you'll right click the, or actually double click the file folder, open it up and you'll see students, students PDFs. Now rather than, I wish we could do control A and then select everything inside of here and then right click but you see that the print option is gone. Um, we can actually select, if you press the first one, and then work your way down the list, and hold down the shift key, and then if you press that, it will select um, everything in between the, the option that you chose. And down here, you can see I have 15 items selected. I just got lucky and selected exactly 15. So you'll see if I hold down the control key and select one more, I can actually make random selections or even deselect certain students just by continuing to hold down the control key. So right now I have 16 items selected. I'm going to try to print and the print option isn't there. So I'm going to remove one of them and now I'm going to try to print. And now you see the print option is there. So that's about it. As soon as you get 15 students selected from the PDFs, it should then let you print all of them without having to do one at a time, print, print, print. And then at least you can cut it down from having to print 30 separate jobs. You can do probably about two, sometimes three jobs, if you can do 15 in a group at a time. Uh, I hope this helps everybody. Uh, thanks.